a woman got into a 40 year agreement to sell her home. That's right. 40 years four zero. And she said she didn't mean to do it. Well, what happened? How did she get into this deal? And what can you do to protect yourself? That's what we're talking about today. This is Monday mornings with Mark. Hi, I'm your host, Mark J. Schmidt of Remax Country and MoveMeMark.com, where I help you get the most out of the real estate market and your home. If you're new here and you like what you see, like this video, be sure to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss out. One thing I like doing for my clients and for my viewers is making sure that you're protected with anything to do with your house. So whether you're looking to renovate your home or get solar panels or anything else for that matter, I want to make sure that you have the best outcome possible. So when I heard about this woman and this 40 year agreement to sell your home, I knew I had to share it with you. Here's what happened. There's a real estate company that offers people money, in exchange for the right to sell their home in the future. Now, this woman in Florida had found out about this. There's a little dispute as to whether this company had reached out to her or if she had reached out to the company. Really doesn't matter either which way, but basically what happened was uh, they were put in touch with one another and they told her that, yes, we will give you money in exchange for the right to sell your home in the future. So uh, they came to an agreement of $1,000 and these two women showed up at her home. They were both uh, notaries, and uh, which is unusual. First of all, if you're going to have someone sign something, uh, unless it's a hardcore real estate document, normally it doesn't need to be notarized like that. So these two uh, notaries showed up. She signed everything. And then the issues kind of started because she claims that she didn't get copies of the documents that she signed. Now, the real estate company that she signed with said that they had some problems getting the documents to her due to COVID. Their offices were closed and they couldn't get the documents to them, which I find kind of interesting. I mean, if you can send two people to this woman's house to sign a contract, I imagine you can forward the contract to her after the fact. Anyway, she finally did receive the contract, but when she received it, she said that there were extra pages attached to it, things that she had not reviewed before signing. And she said that there was a 40 year time period, which she said she was not made aware of. Now, this real estate company says that they made her aware of everything and the entire contract was together when she had originally signed it. A bit of a, he said, she said, but long story short, she was now signed up for a 40 year agreement to sell her home in exchange for $1,000. Well, as you can imagine, she was not happy with this arrangement. When she contacted the company to cancel, she found out that there would be a cancellation fee of $8,000. So this company either gets to sell your home in the future, or you just pay them $8,000 for the pleasure of not selling your home in the future. I'm not sure if she actually paid the $8,000 to the company, uh, but there are a number of takeaways we have from her experience. The first one is whenever you're doing anything with your home, you need to do your homework. You need to go through everything with a fine tooth comb and you need to ask questions. You need to read everything they give you. Don't just take a contract and sign it thinking that, oh, okay, th this guy told me this, so I'm going to believe it. No, go over the contract before you sign it. And if you feel bad because you're making this person wait, well, that's too bad for that person. Let them wait. Uh, if they're uh, an upstanding individual and they're not running a scam on you, they should have absolutely no problem allowing you to read that contract while they wait silently next to you. Now you should also ask lots of questions and know exactly what you're getting yourself into. I made a video a while back about the pros and cons of solar panels. I'll put it here for you to enjoy. But in that video, I talked about some clients of mine who had solar panels on their house and they believed that once they were done paying off their solar panels, that they would own the panels. Well, when I called up the solar panel company, that was not the case. They thought they would own the panels, but those panels were actually leased. 
you need to know exactly what you're getting yourself into. So just like those people didn't understand that they weren't gonna be owning their solar panels, you need to understand what happens if, for example, in an agreement like this, if you're not gonna be moving forward with it. What happens if you decide to cancel? What happens if they can't fulfill their end of the contract? There are lots of questions and you need the answers to them. Most importantly, if you're not comfortable with anything, don't move forward. Listen, you know, your gut talks to you and it will tell you if something feels off, listen to it. If something feels off, don't move forward. Now, our second key takeaway is that you need copies of everything that you sign. Here in New Jersey, it's the law. Whenever you sign anything real estate related, uh, a contract of sale, a listing agreement, whatever, you need to get copies of that. How can you uh, know what you're signing unless you have a copy of it? And on top of that, if you do decide to take legal action against any company that you have gone into contract with, how can you do that unless you have that proof that you, know, you were all on the same page with that contract? So make sure you get copies of everything you sign. Now, our third takeaway is that there are a lot better ways to get cash if you need cash fast. You don't need to get into an agreement that is going to be, in my opinion, so incredibly lopsided and really is not gonna give you much of a benefit but give someone else a benefit down the road. Now listen, if you have questions about selling your home, about buying a home or any other part of the real estate process, there's a fantastic resource, it's my website. You can find me at www.movememark.com. Thanks so much for watching. If you missed our last episode, I've got it right here for you. And here's another episode that YouTube thinks you should watch. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that circle and subscribe so you don't miss out. And I'll see you next time for more Monday Mornings with Mark. You have a great week.